So a lot of people are getting their stimulus checks from the federal government. Jim Crow Joe has signed at the $1,400 stimulus checks, even though everybody was expecting $2,000. You know, I mean that that's what's the deal, right? But beside that, the checks are going out. And this one woman in particular received her stimulus check. When she received her stimulus check, her Pookie and Ray Ray baby daddy decided that he should have access to her $1,400 stimulus check. So Pookie and Ray Ray, the man in question here, he's a Pookie and Ray Ray. He's going to go to the house and demand half is what he actually wanted. Half. He wanted $700 of the stimulus check. And when he didn't get half, even though he was, he was offered another amount, he decided to do this. Let's roll that clip. We also have love and lots of prayers from this community as well. The family says they are now trying to raise enough money to have a funeral service for each of the family members. Now, originally this woman was going to give this fool $350 originally. Then she decided to up it another hundred dollars and she's going to give him $450. But this particular Pookie and Ray Ray, he felt that that wasn't enough. He wanted the $700. Let me tell you something. This, this a man that go and, and chase you down for $700 is, is a broke good for nothing. Man ain't got nothing going on. Let me tell you women something just as much as I tell men to do not impregnate any old woman, protect the seed that you're going to release inside of the womb of a woman. The same way you should be protected of your womb. You should not let old some dusty Pookie and Ray Ray is broken. Ain't got nothing going on impregnate you because all that's going to do is create a problem for your lifetime with that child backstory. He wasn't doing nothing for the child anyway. Then he shows up and he wants $700. If he was a real man that took care of his business, he would have had $700. Matter of fact, a man that got himself together, what's $1,400 to any man that got himself? Come on, that, that's play money on the weekend. And I really, it's not even a weekend money. You could blow that in a day on some things. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about recreation. So it's $1,400. That's, that could be somebody's house note. Could be somebody's car note. You know what I'm saying? Like $1,400 is not a whole lot of money. But see how broke he is. He wasn't doing nothing for the child, but yeah, you want $700. Where was your stimulus check at? Oh, well, you didn't have a stimulus check because you ain't got no job. That's why you don't have no stim stimulus check. Or you had no business where you paying uh, taxes to the government. So you could have got a stimulus check because you're Pookie and Ray Ray. You don't pay no taxes. All you do is cause and raise hell. So when the brother of, of this, you know, sister stands up and say, Hey man, come on, bro. You can't be coming over here demanding money. That Pookie and Ray Ray pulls out a gun and, and kills four people behind $700 that wasn't his to begin with. You know, ladies, you know, I, I know, and I've heard it for years. Some of y'all like them Pookie and Ray Rays. They, they, you know, they're exciting to y'all and all of that. But let me tell you something. Pookie and Ray Ray doesn't end well. Sometimes Pookie and Ray Ray can be dirty and, and get you caught up with charges. Sometimes some of his enemies can get you, get you uh, hurt or your family members hurt or them to do something themselves. Now, because of, because of this Pookie and Ray Ray, four family members are gone, gone. And then you heard the other brother say he been doing things like that. It is dangerous to be getting involved with a Pookie and Ray Ray. And this is why some brothers say, don't be coming over this way. When, when, when later on, when you realize what you was doing and now all of a sudden you want some decent man to come in your life and deal with you and your child. And then now they got to deal with that crazy fool. Because I tell any dude that, look, you better find out who she was dating before you came around. If she got a history of dating Pookie and Ray Ray, say, oh, hell no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Look, what, a, no. Like, uh, if it's a one-off, okay, cool. But if, if you had a baby with a, po a, a certified Pookie and Ray Ray, I'm not saying a reform one. But I'm talking about he's still certified Pookie and Ray Ray. That's all he do. Brother, don't you get involved with that woman. You, you Listen, because there have been dudes that have been killed like that. Not even your situation. You didn't even create the child. You're just trying to be a good dude. And and, and this, you come into the situation. Now you got yourself killed behind this, this idiot. 
And she was fooling with. That's why I tell brothers, you need to assess any woman that you're dealing with on a serious level. You better look at her. You better look her up. <laughs> what she got going on? Don't don't let her look fool you. Don't let anything she do in the bedroom fool you. You better look deeper than this, deeper than life than a woman's looking what she do in the bedroom. Because one thing I always tell a man this. You don't want no problems with, with nobody that you ain't got to deal with a problem with, right? They ain't your problem to deal with. So please, fellas, you know, for, for your safety and, 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 and everything else, Lee, if they got a Pookie and Ray Ray baby daddy and they certify Pookie and Ray Ray and you know this, or they got a long line of Pookie and Ray Rays and then you the first decent dude they dated, like, nah, because uh, you done been through some stuff. I'm not about to deal with your psychological issues. I know them Pookie and Ray Rays and put you through a lot. Hell no. Uh-uh, you ain't coming over here. Stick to what you know. Stay on that side. Don't come here. But I'm just warning you, brothers. But like I said, it's a sad story. You know, it's tragic. Am I saying it's her fault for what happened? No, I'm not saying that she chose to, you know, for that to happen. She didn't. But what I'm saying is, do we talk about let everything be a teachable lesson? Don't date Pookie and Ray Rays. And if, and if they do date Pookie and Ray Rays, brothers who decent out here, brothers that took care of this situation, brothers that got uh, businesses, you doing great, you got a great career or whatever. Don't you get with no woman like that. I know some of y'all like to simp, but don't you got to think about it. Simping could take your life out. Just want to remember that. But, you know, leave me a comment. I mean, let me know what you think about this. You know, Pookie and Ray Ray, dusty as hell, broke. Think $700 is some money. It's sad. Kill, kill four people behind $700. That's the worst broke of the broke story I ever heard in my life. Like $700 is some money.